Hey guys welcome back. In this video I am going to showing you how to build a AC main supply failure alarm detector. This circuit alerts you by sounding an alarm like this. Out through there are inverters and generators to immediately start the AC power supply. Whenever there is a power cut but sometime when there is no backup support. And we have some critical machines running to perform some important task. It's a good idea to at least have an alarm which notify us as soon as power goes off. This circuit can be used in many applications. Project requirements in the video description available. Let's start to build. Set up the 105J 400 volt capacitor. Connect 1 mega ohm resistor on 105J capacitor parallel. Set up in 4007 bridge rectifier. Set up 470 UF 25 volt capacitor. Set up 12 volt Zener diode. Set up 7805 IC. Connect 105J capacitor second pin to bridge rectifier input. AC input. 470 UF capacitor positive and negative pin connected on bridge rectifier positive and negative terminal. Zener diode negative pin connect on 470's UF capacitor positive pin. And Zener diode positive pin connect on 470's UF capacitor negative pin. 470 UF capacitor positive pin connect on 7805 IC first pin. 470 UF capacitor negative pin connect on 7805 IC second pin. Set up IC 555. Set up 10 UF 25 volt capacitor. Set up 470 kilo resistor. Set up buzzer. Link first IC 555 fourth and eight pin. Link second and sixth pin. 470 kilo resistor connect on IC 555 8 and 6th pin. IC 555 third pin connect on buzzer positive pin. Buzzer negative pin connect on IC 555 first pin. Set up second IC 555. Set up 10 UF 25 volt capacitor. Set up 2 1 kilo resistor. Set up another 10 kilo resistor. Set up blue LED in 1 kilo resistor. Link IC 555 8 and 4th pin and 2nd and 6th pin. 1K resistor connect on IC 555 8 and 7th pin. Another 1 kilo resistor connect IC 555 7th pin. 1 kilo resistor another pin connect on 10 kilo resistor. 10 kilo resistor another pin connect IC 555 6th pin. Connect 10 UF capacitor positive lead on IC 555 2nd pin. Connect 10 UF capacitor negative lead on IC 555 first pin. Connect 1 kilo resistor on IC 555 third pin. Resistor another and connect on blue LED positive pin. Blue LED negative pin connect on first IC 555 third pin. Connect first IC fourth pin and second IC 555 eight pin. Link both IC 555 first pin. 7805 IC third pin connect on IC 555 fourth pin. 7805 IC second pin connect on IC 555 first pin. Set up another in 4007 bridge rectifier. Set up 33 kilo resistor. Set up 4700 UF 50 volt capacitor. Set up two relay switch. Set up in 4007 diode. Set up 3 IC 555. Link both 3 IC 8 and 4th pin 6th and 2nd pin. Set up 6 1 kilo resistor and 1 10 kilo resistor. Set up 470 kilo resistor and 20 kilo resistor. 470 kilo resistor connect on IC 555 8 and 6th pin. Set up 10 UF 25 volt capacitor. Connect 10 UF capacitor positive lead on IC 555 2nd pin. Connect 10 UF capacitor negative lead on IC 555 first pin. 1K resistor connect on IC 555 8 and 7th pin. Another 1 kilo resistor connect IC 555 7th pin. Same setup for third IC 555. 
second IC 10 kilo resistor connect on IC 555 second pin. Third IC 555 20 kilo resistor connect on IC 555 second pin. Set up 100 UF and 4.7 UF capacitor. Connect 100 UF capacitor positive lead on IC 555 second pin. Connect 100 UF capacitor negative lead on IC 555 first pin. Same setup for 4.7 UF capacitor. Set up the two red LED and two blue LED. How to set up the LED connection? Follow this. Set up two red LED and two blue LED. Link both red LED positive and negative terminals. Link both blue LED positive and negative terminals. Red LED positive terminals connected on blue LED negative terminals. Blue LED positive terminals connected on red LED negative terminals. Blue LED positive terminals connected on third IC 555 third pin. Red LED negative terminals connected on second IC 555 third pin. Set up 3BC547 transistor. Link 3 transistor third pin and connect on IC 555 first pin. First IC 555 third pin connect 1 kilo resistor, another and connected on first BC 547 transistor second pin. Link second IC 555 first pin to third IC 555 first pin. Link second IC 555 8 pin to third IC 555 8 pin. Link bow 3 IK 8 pin. Second IC 555 first pin connected on first transistor first pin. First transistor second pin connected on second transistor second pin. Set up one more relay. Relay coil pin connected on IC 555 8 and second transistor first pin. Set up UEM 3561 IC and 220 kilo resistor. 220 kilo resistor connected on UEM 3561 IC 8 and 7th pin. Link UEM 3561 IC 6th and 2nd pin. 1 kilo resistor connected on UEM 3561 IC 3rd pin. Resistor another end connected on 3rd transistor 2nd pin. UEM 3561 IC 5th pin connect IC 555 4th pin. UEM 3561 IC 2nd pin connect on IC 555 1st pin. Set up the speaker. Speaker terminals connected on 3rd transistor 1st pin and IC 555 8 pin. Connect 33 kilo resistor on bridge rectifier positive and negative pins. Bridge rectifier positive terminal connected on another in 4007 diode negative terminal. In 4007 diode positive pin connect on 4700 UF capacitor negative terminal. 4700 UF capacitor positive terminal connect on bridge rectifier positive terminal. Relay first coil pin connect on 4700 UF capacitor positive. Relay another coil pin connect on bridge rectifier negative terminal. Bridge rectifier C input connect on first 105 joules capacitor second pin. Bridge rectifier another C input connect on first rectifier C input. First relay common terminal connect on 4700 UF capacitor positive pin. First relay NO pin connected on second relay coiled pin. Second relay another coiled pin connected on 4700 UF capacitor negative pin. Set up 9 volt battery. 9 volt battery positive terminal connected on IC 555 8 pin. Battery negative pin connected on second relay NC pin. Second relay common pin connected on first IC 555 first pin. Third relay NC pin connected on first IC 555 first pin. Third relay common pin connected on battery negative terminal. Circuit setup will be completed. Already placed all components on the PCB. Let's talk about the components. Transformerless power supply unit. 7805 voltage regulator LM555 IC time delay controlling circuit with buzzer another 3 LM555 IC UM3561 IC secondary diode in my case I am using 6M diodes but you will use in 4007 diode filtering capacitor for secondary relay activate purpose 3 relay switches
Here you can see guys I set up all components on this plastic box. Let's see inside of the box. Controlling board placed on here. 9 volt external battery placed here. Speaker will be placed here. And indicating LED placed on downside and upper side. Now talk about why I am using 9 volt battery on separate for this circuit. Now you will see the schematic I recently found on Circuit Digest website. This is very simple mains failure alarm circuit. I will say thanks for Abhishek Sharma to make this circuit. I give this circuit link in the video description. This is the simple mains failure circuit. Let's talk about the basic working principle for this circuit. When we turn on the supply, transformer converts the 220 volt AC to 12 volt AC. Then the current coming from transformer is rectified by the bridge rectifier diode. After rectifying, the current is passed through a capacitor. This capacitor works as a filter capacitor. Now as the current comes to relay it triggers to on the buzzer. In my circuit also I will use this same method. But I not use as charging capacitors. Because in this mains failure detector have a high power alerts indicators and high power siren sound. You also use as a external 9 volt sirens in this unit. In this all components working on a fixed power. That means in this circuit I use a capacitor this feature is not lacking. And you not need to connect high source alarms for external purposes. Place the detector on the wall. Now you can see guys red LED will glow. And green LED will blinking. Now the device is active. Now I turn off the AC supply. Now detect the failure then alarm and LED will be a flashing. Alarm and flashing LED will be working on a few seconds. Now I turn on the AC supply. Same process repeated on few seconds.